Income tax 2021 2021 interest you paid part number four get ready to get refunds to the max diving into income tax 2021 2022 most of this information can be found on schedule a tax year 2021 on the irs website at irs.gov irs.gov income tax formula focused on the itemized deductions keeping them distinct in our mind from the adjustments to income the above the line deductions the deductions for agi or the schedule one deductions also noting the itemized deductions in order to take them generally need to be higher than the standard deduction in order for them to be beneficial first page of the form 1040 looking at line 12 a standard deduction or itemized deduction if we go to the schedule a which is the reporting of the itemized deduction used only if the itemized deductions are greater than the standard deductions categories for the itemized deductions in general broken out on the left hand side here total of the schedule a itemized deductions if greater than the standard then going back to page one line 12 a here taking the standard deduction or the itemized deduction if greater these are the standard deductions that you want to have an idea of so that if you're thinking about whether someone is going to itemize or not whether their tax return will be more or less complex due to that you want to have an idea of what the threshold will be of the standard deduction investment interest so we're still looking at the deductibility of interest primarily looking at here the itemized deductions on schedule a remembering that the big one for interest deduction is related to the mortgage interest that's the one that could most likely push people over to being able to itemize as opposed to taking the standard deduction once itemizing that could open up other possibilities for deductions which aren't quite as high and in and of themselves might not push someone over to being able to itemize but once already over the threshold they can basically add to it as well now note when you're when you're talking about like interest for investments that falls into alignment with what you would naturally think about a little bit more closely than the mortgage interest for an income tax in other words an income tax you would expect the things that would naturally be deductible or those things that you have to use or consume in order to generate the revenue that you're being taxed on not being taxed therefore in the top line gross income but on the bottom line the net income most clearly seen this concept is on the schedule c for example where you have the an income statement you got the the income and then the expenses that you had to use in order to generate that income which might include interest expense for loans uh, are basically deductible bottom line then is going to be what you're going to be taxed on the net amount not the top line that would be reasonable for an income tax you have a similar kind of thing with the investment interest so if you had some kind of investment and you needed to borrow money in order to generate the revenue and you're going to be paying taxes on the revenue uh, that was generated you would think you would have a better argument under an income tax system to be able to deduct the expenses including interest expense for that type of investment situation the mortgage interest is actually the outlier because usually a home is thought of as a personal kind of investment not a business type of investment so you would think that the interest related to it wouldn't be deductible just like other kind of personal things if i took out a loan to to go to disneyland on a vacation or something like that or to the bahamas or something then i wouldn't typically get to deduct the interest for that type of thing because it's a personal thing and it's not a business thing the the home is the exception to that general rule okay so we have the investment interest investment interest is interest paid on money you borrowed that is allocable to property held for investment so you put you're putting money into an investment and you're taking out a loan to do so therefore the purchasing power interest possibly being deductible we're looking here on the schedule a deduction itemized deductions it doesn't include any interest allocable to passive activities or securities that generate tax exempt income so if it's tax exempt then you're not including the income on the income line item so you would think it would not be fair then to get you know a, a deduction related to it because it's not something that you're being taxed on for the income line item and then there's these rules for passive activities and the whole concept with passive activities gets a little bit complex but the general idea is that if you're not actively involved in the investment the tax code is going to treat it 
treat that a little bit uh, differently oftentimes than if you kind of you're actively involved so you can get into the passive activity rules we might talk about them a little bit more if we get into the real estate investing uh, area complete and attach form 4952 to figure your deduction investment interest exception uh, you don't have to file form 4952 if all three of the following apply so then you don't have to file the form number one your investment interest expense is less than your investment income from interest and or ordinary uh, dividends minus any qualified dividends two you have no other deductible investment expenses and three you have no disallowed investment interest expenses for uh, expenses from 2020.